Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, energy check-in for Gemini. This is going to be for your um, second half of your June from the 16th to 30th. Uh, you could apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Um, so we're going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the uh, second half of your June, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique, uh, unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, Gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the, notifi hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. So Gemini, tell me about Gemini here. Over energies for Gemini, what's surrounding Gemini, what does Gemini need to know for the uh, second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th for Gemini. Okay, so we have the Sun, Leo energy. We have the star card. Seems like um seems like you're living your truth or that you're 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 living your true authentic self here. I feel like you're experiencing, you know, happiness and hope here. So, you know, things are sort of like, you know, things are going pretty well. Uh, you know, with the sun card here and the star card. So let's just see what else we have here. Leo energy with the sun, star card, Aquarius energy. Um we have the Five of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles. And yeah, it seems like you're going through a time of healing, hope here. Perhaps you're overcoming some hardships here, perhaps financial hardships, okay? You know, I feel like the financial hardship really st stems from uh, perhaps giving a lot of yourself to other people here. You know, I feel like, you know, not only do you support yourself, I feel like you might have to support other people here. You know, maybe your mother, your father, you know, I, I do feel like there, uh, you know, there is some sort of like financial uh, reliability on you here. And I feel like this is something that maybe you're, 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 you're creating boundaries here surrounding that here, um, uh, 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 not Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, we have the Four of Cups here and the Eight of Swords. That's so interesting here. Seems like you guys are going through bouts of some ups and downs here. Fear, worry here, then happiness and hope. It's kind of like you're on like a roller coaster ride right now. Yeah, so just ups and downs here. Um, some, some of it, you know, perhaps some of it, it's like, yeah, you're really legit going through some sort of financial struggle here. But I feel like maybe some of this is just created through your mind and your emotions here. Something that's really not there. You know, it's, it's sort of like, you know, creating trouble that's not there. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, I do feel like there is something going on here for sure. The Sun card, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the uh, Star card here, and the Eight of Pentacles here. You know, one moment is like you have purpose. One moment's like, okay, I could do this. I could overcome this. I could master, you know, and, you know, take control of, you know, my struggles here and try and overcome it. And then it's kind of like, you know, mm, and then it goes back up again. It's like very up and down. It's very up and down, Gemini. Yeah, you know that you know that Gemini energy. You know the the personalities for some of you guys, it could switch like very quickly. You know that's the that's the uh, twin thing, the the Gemini thing. So, you know, I just feel like you know it's just a lot a lot of ups and downs here. We have the Ten of Wands here, so any sort of financial hardships and burdens that you're going through here, I feel like you're in the process of trying to overcome it or release it here. We have the Lovers here, Gemini energy. I mean, there could be struggles in your relationships here too. Yeah. You know, one of the things I'm feeling like it's important for you to lean into those relationships and, you know, sort of like find safety in that and sort of ask for support, you know, uh, because I feel like someone here is not really asking for help either. 
Yeah, Four of Cups here in the Hermit Virgo energy, the Eight of Swords here, and the Page of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. I feel like someone here wants to ask for help, but I feel like someone here is scared to do that. Yeah, I just feel like there's a lot going on here. You're feeling great about yourself, and then you're worried, and then they feel like you're feeling restless here, and then they feel like you're feeling alone, and then I feel like you're also, you know, um, you know, kind of like you're finding perspective here at the same time, and then it's kind of like, oh, you know, and then it, it kind of like just goes away, yeah. It, it, uh, everything that you're going through, it's like so temper. It's uh, it's a bit of a roller coaster ride here. Uh, what else do we have for, for Gemini? Outcome and advice. What else does Gemini need to know? Look out for, work on here for the second half of the June for Gemini. Gemini. Okay, the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay. It's very up and down. It's almost like you're great. You know, you're loving yourself, and then the next moment you might be sabotaging yourself here. Um, keep in mind, Gemini, um, you know, this doesn't have to be you. Maybe this, some of this ha it has to do with you, but this could also apply to people that's in and around your life too, okay? Just keep in mind these messages are super general. It's not a personal reading. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. And then we have the Page of Wands here and the Empress. Okay, Libra Taurus here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. I think one of the most important things right now is to really take care of yourself at this time. Yeah, really ground yourself here. Perhaps spend more time in nature. Put in your uh, seat, uh, put in your seat, put in your feet in the sand, in the earth. Uh, because I feel like the energy that you're experiencing right now, it's sort of like really all over the place here. It's all over the place here. I just feel like it's kind of like a lot of back and forth, just a lot of ups and downs here. You know, I feel like you're trying really hard, you know, to not let the downs get to you too much. Um, but, you know, I, um, but I, I just feel like, you know, whatever you're going through right now, I do feel like you're over, it might have to do with that new moon that's coming in Gemini. Yeah. So I feel like you, you might be feeling just kind of like, kind of like, you know, kind of like this like really like ping pong like energy is kind of like this back and forth, this up and down sort of thing. You know, with um, the Ace of Wands here and the Nine of Pentacles, this is an indication that you could be overcoming or that you are overcoming your financial hurdles here, okay? Um, you know, uh, if you guys started a business here, I do feel like the business is, uh, is about to take off here, you know, or has taken off here. The Seven of uh, Swords here in the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. You're definitely going through like like some sort of awakening here. Yeah, so I feel like that's why it's kind of like it's very back and forth. I, I feel like this is a time or a period where you're creating like kind of like the strong foundation for yourself here. The Ace of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles here and the Hierophant here. So one of the things that I'm getting here is I feel like through this process, you know, I feel like if you're struggle with patience here, I feel like it's important for you to be patient uh, because through this process, you're actually gaining a lot of knowledge and wisdom through this. So I feel like you're learning a lot. You're learning a lot here. So it's important for you to be patient here. You know, the Geminis that I do know, some Geminis are not really known to be very patient. Yeah. Um, the Page of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. The Empress here. Um, this is so interesting. Some of you guys might have like, or that you guys are struggling in the relationship here with a parent here. Okay. You guys might have some sort of disagreement yeah, whatever this is, this relationship is really strained here. And I feel like this is an opportunity for you guys to reconnect or resolve your issues here. That's if you want to. Yeah, that's if you want to. Because at the end of the day, you know, these messages are meant to help you. And you still have free will at the end of the day here. Okay. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.